Welcome to the Blue Collar Consulting Group Podcast. Everything done better. What is up, everybody? My name is Gary Roth. I am the founder and CEO of the Blue Collar Consulting Group. Um, We have the mantra, everything done better. And I think that's very important. I think it's very important to remember that um, understanding why you're here, understanding what you're doing, that, that's a crucial element to being successful really in anything. You know, you got to look at your relationships. You got to look at your business. You've got to look at the job. You've got to look at the children and understand why you do what you do. Always keep that intention in mind. Now, with that in mind and with names, we're going to talk about how to give your product or service a memorable name. Now, Blue Collar Consulting Group, when I first launched it, I had some detractors that said, well, that's kind of silly because now you won't be able to work with uh, certain kinds of clients. And I said, nay, nay, you are incorrect. I named my company Blue Collar Consulting Group because of the approach that I take. I roll my sleeves up and I work on practical application and not theory. I will show you how to answer the phone. I will show you how to brand yourself online and I will show you how to make a great website so that you and your team can do it on your own and you won't be reliant on me for those success tips. So let's talk about giving our thing a memorable name sooner or later all right listen up you will have to give your wow product or service a name that will help it connect with the potential prospect potential prospect could be a customer or a client whatever the case may be this is the case for naming your blog your online presence all of that your pet name for your product must be ruthlessly eliminated Because what you call it is more than just a title. It's your number one marketing tool. Igor, a naming and branding company, has titled everything from True TV to the Nokia Evolve phone. They know the secret to successfully connecting to consumers, customers, excuse me. In a commentary about the Yahoo Personals tagline, Believe, the folks at Igor said, Believe is a masterful example of how to achieve the brass ring of branding engagement. A less savvy tagline might have been find that special someone you have always dreamed about, but that approach will be far less effective because it is exactly what people would expect to hear and would pass through them like white noise. It narrowly defines the Yahoo Personals as merely a service offering. It tells the audience how to think about it with no room left for mystery or imagination. Believe is a home run for their tagline because it causes people to pause and ask themselves, believe in what? And to actively fill in the blanks and personalize the connection which is the most effective form of engagement. It also elevates Yahoo Personal's brand above the goods and services they offer and taps into a positive aspirational philosophy. Granted, this is a little bit dated, but I picked this because the data is relevant. The reasonings behind it is relevant. Igor says that this strategy is also demonstrated by these taglines. Nikes, just do it. Lord, we know especially today, Colin Kaepernick, how important taglines can be. Remember when Apple was asking everyone to think different? How about Fannie Mae's, we're in the American dream business, or guidance, it's a great time to be alive. Coming up with compelling names for products, services, blogs, and headlines, it's arduous, and it's time-consuming work. Yet nothing in the marketing mix is more important than a strong title. It is like a newspaper headline. If prospective readers are intrigued, guess what? They keep reading. If they don't, they move on to that thing that catches their attention in the next split second. It is just so 
so important. Consumers first look at the book's title, then the front and the back covers, and then the flaps, rounding out the list of the table of contents, and maybe, maybe just maybe, the first few paragraphs and the price. The most important component for anything you offer is the title. Think about how you buy things. Think about how you purchase things you've never seen before. Think about how you buy a book. Think about all of the things that are determined by the title. It's the most important component for anything you offer. So what does it take to create titles that make your product a bestseller, generate page views on your website or for a blog post, or generate interest in your service? Well, we actually have a little acronym for that called PINC, P-I-N-C. They do at least one of the following, at least. They make a promise, they create intrigue, they identify a need, or they simply state the content. Let's go over a few examples. The P, titles that make a promise. Here's an example, The 4-Hour Body, An Uncommon Guide to Rapid Fat Loss, Incredible Sex, and Becoming Superhuman. That's a book title. The DVD, Power 90, Tony Horton's Total Body Transformation 90-Day Boot Camp Workout. That's a promise. Omega Paw Self-Cleaning Litter Box. That's a promise too. I, Intrigue. For example, Steve Jobs, One Last Thing, a movie title. Here's a book, Heaven is for Real. A little boy's astounding story of his trip to heaven and back. Maybe Euphoria by Calvin Klein, The Perfume. Here's some for N, titles that identify a need. For example, Mommy, I'm Here, Child Locator. Wireless GPS bracelet for kids. True Calm Amino Relaxer by New Foods, which is a supplement. Fearless, Imagine Your Life Without Fear, a book title. And then there's the State the Content examples. College Hunks, Hauling Junk, <laughs> a nice service. Autobiography of Mark Twain, Volume 1, a book. The Holy Bible is another example. Joe's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, Repair Service. Now, some of these titles employ more than one strategy. For instance, The 4-Hour Body makes a promise, but it also creates intrigue. How could you recreate your body in four hours? And I have to admit that many books and other products break these rules completely and succeed. However, a lot of times you need to know where to start. No one is going to truly know how it works. There are plenty of resources out there, plenty of catalogs for headline templates, lots of ideas. You could always look at other blogs, other services, other products and get inspired. The bottom line is that the right title for your product, service, website, or blog can make or break you. No doubt about it. I highly recommend that you spend the time necessary to research it. Google search engaging titles. Look at other blogs. Look at other websites. Think about the things that you like. Look at some of your past titles. Test it out for a day or two. Check your analytics and come back and change it for a day or two and see what works. It is worth it to spend a lot of time on your headline, on your title, on the name of your product or service. I promise you, it's worth it. So listen, pink, promise, intrigue. Oh, I forgot what the N was. Uh, need. So promise, intrigue, need, and content. P-I-N-C, pink. Think about that next time you're creating a title. And good luck with everything that you do. My name is Gary Roth, Blue Collar Consulting Group. This is the Blue Collar Consulting Group podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. Head on over to bluecollarconsultinggroup.com to check out the blog and all the other episodes of the podcast. And I hope that you are having an awesome day. And don't forget to tell somebody that you love them. We'll see you next time.